Accidental racism. What's that? Accidental racism. I did. So it's when white people do something and then you call them out on it, and it was like, well, maybe that was my racism, but it happened by accident. I'm just saying. And so I wrote this piece because. I came to a few of PMN gatherings, did some workshops and things like that, and I really need to address this within this circle, right? If you want to bring in black people, it doesn't take gimmicks, right? It takes respecting the black people that are here, you know? Just like when white people here put in the work and they're invited back to perform, right? When black people put in the work, invite them back to perform. We shouldn't have to kick them down doors, screaming and stuff, and trying to find a way to find out who's at the top to be like, why y'all inviting other black people in my community to perform and not me when I've been putting in the work? So I have an issue with that. So, um, but I did, I had to write it down, I have to get it out. So, in honor of healing, I want to invite y'all to gather around. If y'all in back can just move up some. If y'all can come closer, you know, um, because we have to deal with this accidental racism in our midst. And before I read this poem, I just want to say this, that if it doesn't pertain to you, please, don't take it on. You know, I, I, I you know, so. Dr. King is gone. I'm here now. I don't speak of God or of dreams. I speak of a fight you resist. Well, you insist I'm angry sometimes and bitter. While well, I'm ignored and thrown out like litter, asking why I don't smile. I'm not here to appease you, but help relieve you of your disease. While I'm jumping over hurdles designed for me, you say, you think this race is easy. You, say, you, you ask me to join your groups, but say my meetings are not on your roots. You invite black folks in the midst, thought I ain't put in work. Though I would put in work, I was dismissed. I will not be silent. Cultural racism is still violent. I won't shh so your mind can stay quiet. I'm my own pilot, soaring above your madness while fierce velocity. Accidental racism is still an atrocity. Of course, $15 an hour is great. Health care, social security, and education, but systematic racism is my realization, militarization, and mass incarceration. I love the fight for the climate. Take time to rhyme it. But when I hold you accountable, my accounts are fallible. But I'm supposed to march and scream for doctor's dream when you discount mine to pat in your bottom line, guard your feelings and point fingers. <clears throat> but right here, oppression lingers. I'm here for the love of a few. Let this be a healing call, a cue. Gimmicks don't bring black folks, love does. Action is the hope that keeps us, hate eats us. The future needs us, movement breeds us, success feeds us. If you don't heed us, you'll be here without us. I'm not saying it's all about us. I'm saying it's all about the sum of us. Somewhere else will embrace us. When I gave Lucy a ride and learned that she was the founder, it was then I learned that PMN is mine. So I'm here like a wall, I echo, your, I echo your voice, record your accent in bruises or in loving detail. None of us are beyond reproach hmm. or the need for light. For those who are filled with love, it's because of you I'm here tonight. Charlie King, Sarah Perto, Catherine Graham, Mary Regan, Karen Brandall, they remind me of the love I saw, Peter and Sue, Karen and Mary now, the lovely smiles and passing, tugs at my soul, keeps me from the dark side, I'm crying a song of love for those that hurt my struggle, fighting racism is not a puzzle, it's in humanity, accountability and responsibility, so when I'm stuck in loop like hips, both my hand grips the grace they bless me with. It's not hard. Thank you.